Ken, thank you very much for introducing me. I was listening at your opening speech. There's something I really agreed on. As a former architectural engineer, I agree when you say that uh, the quality of a project is a kind of function of the number of iteration that you're able, as an architect, to, pro to put on it. And this is something that, as Mindesk, we're really focusing on. Our mission is to cross out steps from your CAD workflow with real-time technologies to enable you to iterate more time and reach a higher quality in your project. So, as you probably know, uh, as an architect, you face a number of challenges, including delivering a great-looking uh, material for your design review, whether you are with your partner, uh, with your clients, or just with uh, teammates. And, of course, uh, while doing so, you have to solve complex projects and problems. And to get there, you need to prepare. You need to prepare your 3D asset, your render, your videos. And this process sometimes, actually quite often, is painful. It's painful because um, the source of your material, the CAD software, whether it is SOLIDWORKS, Rhino, Grasshopper, or other BIM software, and the output uh, are very far from each other. In between, there is a process of elaboration, conversion, and other steps that are, uh, of course, time consuming, they are not in sync, and they are one way. What does it mean? That every time you need to iterate or change anything from your project, you need to go all over again until the end which means this is a recurring work on your pipeline. In Mindesk, we are trying to solve this problem by providing a one unique platform that uses real-time data connection to provide a synchronized platform between CAD and output, whether it is video, uh, real-time render, or virtual reality. Uh, does it sound too good to be true? So let's see in action. In this case, we see how you can use Mindesk to jump directly from rhinoceros into virtual reality modeling and use the controller as a 3D mouse to create shapes. And you cannot collaborate with someone else from the desktop on the same project. An Italian designer created the first organic chair 100% in VR and then jump directly in production with the data he shaped in VR. Another shape builder is using VR to assess the body uh, design and sketch new parts directly on the Rhino model. Because Mindesk, again, is able to solve the connection in real time between CAD and virtual reality. And recently, we brought this platform with Unreal where you're able to see a real photorealistic picture of your CAD software, assign material, do 3D modeling, and see the, the real uh, life version of it, simulate lighting. And the material you assign to geometry sticks to the geometry. So when you change the geometry, everything is coherent. This happens thanks to the one-click live link that in seconds allows you to bring your model in uh, VR or Unreal. And of course, in our latest iteration, we're also able to model the project while seeing the photorealistic result. So you can leverage the full power of uh, real assets, either on the monitor or by entering the project and changing it with a virtual reality controller in a photorealistic environment.
All these have been made possible thanks to our amazing partners that are putting their trust in Mindesk, including HP, uh, Vivex, and Epic Games. And last but not least, uh, ZA, the VR group, which I would uh, like to call on stage. Thank you, Helmut. Great. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you, Gabriele.